Dear students, in this lecture, I am going to introduce you to the basic concept of plant physiology. What is the difference between plant physiology and crop physiology? Which type of questions are addressed by the knowledge of physiology? And what is the significance or importance of physiology of plants? The study of plants is called as botany. Plants are autotrophic eukaryotic and multicellular organisms in the kingdom planting. Autotrophic means that plants can synthesize their own food. That's why they are also called as producers. Plants are primary producers on which all forms of life depend. Plants are eukaryotic. It means uh, eukaryotic is an organism in which cells have their DNA or genetic material packed in distinct nuclei. So they have a distinct their cells have a distinct nucleus and they are multicellular organisms. There are over 300,000 species of plants which include grasses, shrubs and trees. A typical plant consists of different plant parts such as roots, stem, leaves and flowers. Plant structure is related to its function. So there is a relationship between structure of the plant and plant functions. Function is the natural activity of cells, tissues, organs. Uh, important plant functions are photosynthesis, respiration, transpiration growth etc. So plant structure is related to its function. For example, roots are meant for water and nutrient uptake. Leaves are meant for light interception, for photosynthesis, Stem is meant for uh, support and transport. Uh, as I mentioned that plant structure is related to its functions or processes. Uh, morphology deals with the study of form and structure of plants. Whereas anatomy deals with the study of the structure of internal cells and tissues. Cytology is the study of structure of cells, whereas histology is the study of structure of tissues. The structure functional relationship uh, underpin the fascinating and often complicated world of plants. Plant physiology is the study of internal functions or functioning of plants. functioning of plants. So everything going on within the plant uh, comes under plant physiology. For example, plants are preparing their own food, uh, they are growing, they are taking up water, etc. 
So everything going on within the plant is called as plant physiology. It is the study of natural phenomena going on within the cells, tissues, organs or organisms. Important functions of plants are photosynthesis, respiration, transpiration, growth, etc. So function is the natural activity of the cells, tissues, organs and organisms. Uh, as I mentioned that plant physiology is the study of functioning of plants and we use another term that is crop physiology. The term crop physiology consists of two independent terms, crop and physiology. Crop is the community of plants grown under field conditions for its economic value. For example, an isolated mango plant growing in your backyard is not a crop but a plant. Why? A community of mango plants growing in an orchard under open field conditions is a crop. So if you are growing one or uh, few plants not for economic purpose then they will be considered as plants. But crops are grown in open fields, open field conditions uh, for its economic value. We earn profit from crops. And physiology, as we have discussed, it is the study of functioning of uh, plants or crops. So, crop physiology is the study of functioning and responses of crops grown in various environments. The behavior of plants growing under isolated conditions is different from uh, when they are growing. Uh, under field conditions or uh, with their fellow plants or in the form of a community. Plants growing in a community or uh, under field conditions, they compete with each other for everything like water, space, nutrients, light, etc. and they interact with each other and sometimes they complement each other. And the difference between plant physiology and crop physiology. Plant physiology as I mentioned deals with plants and crop physiology deals with the community of plants or deals with crops. In plant physiology, there is no or little interaction among plants. They don't influence each other or, in, or their influence is minimum. While under field condition, there is an interaction among plants. They compete with each other and sometimes they complement each other. In plant physiology, the economic yield is not important. We might be doing this for experimental purpose, uh, for example, discovering basic biosynthetic pathway of some molecule within a plant or studying the you know, signaling pathways uh, for which uh, achieving an economic yield is not the objective or we might be growing few plants uh, in our backyard for uh, our own recreation 
or as a hobby or for gardening. But in crop physiology, the economic yield is important. We grow crops <coughs> to earn profit, not just for recreation or not just for experimental purpose. So in crop physiology, economic yield is important and that's why I told you that the a crop is a community of plants grown under field conditions for its economic value. So we can also say that plant physiology is a basic or pure science and crop physiology is an applied science which also benefits from the knowledge of other disciplines like uh, agronomy, soil science. If we talk about the significance of the knowledge of physiology, uh, estimated population, human population will exceed uh, 9.5 billion by 2050. It means we will have uh, more than 2.5 billion additional mouths to feed. What we term as population explosion. And another associated challenge with this population explosion is that the urban population is growing faster than the rural population. And the required 70% increase in agriculture production uh, must be achieved with the diminishing resources. Resources are diminishing like land, uh, water, energy, capital. These resources are uh, declining due to the increase in human population at an exponential rate. So in order to increase our agriculture production, we need to focus on the plant metabolic processes. In order to increase yield, we need to understand the plant metabolic processes. We need to understand photosynthesis. We need to understand respiration. And in order to have a clear understanding of the input-output relationship. Besides studying uh, or exploring the input-output uh, relationships, the knowledge of physiology also guides uh, crop breeders in crop improvement or the development of new varieties. So through the knowledge of uh, uh, plant physiology, breeders have an idea whether they need to improve the light interception. Uh, or radiation use efficiency or plant architecture or harvest index or they need to alter the sourcing relationships. So the knowledge of plant physiology uh, gives them an idea of uh, the traits they need to focus to develop uh, ideal cultivars or idiotypes for a particular environment. Next, uh, the knowledge of uh, plant physiology also helps to study the plant responses to its uh, environment. <clears throat> Rarely plants grow under ideal conditions. Uh, they are exposed to uh, various forms of stresses, biotic stresses like uh, disease pressure or insect pressure or abiotic stresses like drought stress, flooding stress, chilling stress, uh, salinity stress, etc. So the knowledge of uh, plant physiology and plant responses to their environment or plant responses to various biotic and abiotic forces helps uh, us to understand uh, the adaptive mechanisms that plants can adapt to perform uh, or to 
अचीव दे रील पोटेंशियल अंडर अ गिवन सैट ऑफ इनवायरमेंटल कंडीशन द नॉलेज ऑफ नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन फिजियोलॉजी कैन हेल्प अस अंडरस्टैंड द बिहेवियर एंड ग्रोथ एंड डिवेलपमेंटल रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ दोज प्लांट्स सिमिलरली द नॉलेज ऑफ प्लांट हारमोन्स कैन हेल्प अस अंडरस्टैंड हाउ हारमोन्स कैन रेगुलेट प्लांट ग्रोथ एंड डिवेलपमेंट एंड हाउ वी कैन एम्प्लॉय डिफरेंट प्लांट ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर्स विच आर द सिंथेटिक प्लांट ग्रोथ हारमोन्स टू टू मॉडिफाई द बिहेवियर ऑफ प्लांट्स अंडर अ गिवन सेट ऑफ कंडीशन सो टू समराइज द नॉलेज ऑफ प्लांट फिजियोलॉजी इज क्रूशियल फॉर मीटिंग आवर फ्यूचर फूड एंड फाइबर नीड्स टू बाई अंडरस्टैंडिंग द इनपुट आउटपुट रिलेशनशिप्स और प्लांट मेटाबॉलिक प्रोसेस बाय प्रोवाइडिंग गाइडलाइंस फॉर ब्रीडर्स बाय इनहेंसिंग अंडर आवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द बेसिक प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथिस रेस्पिरेशन ट्रांसलोकेशन ग्रोथ एट्सट्रा सो द नॉलेज ऑफ फिजियोलॉजी will help us understand questions like whether the tallest per plants produce the highest yield or why uh, detopping stops the uh, vertical growth of plants or why plants grow tall and spindly uh, when uh, they are in competition with other plants or when uh, population density is high why a plant growing under shady conditions or growing under the shade of another tree remains weak so all of these questions and uh, another other these types of questions can be addressed through the knowledge of physiology of plants so i hope you will be now you will be able to understand that uh, what is meant by physiology of plants Uh, you must be able to differentiate between plant physiology and crop physiology what type of questions can be addressed uh, by the knowledge of physiology of plants and how plant structure is related to plant functions and what is the significance of studying the physiology of plants and in the coming lectures we will dig deep into different processes like photosynthesis respiration uh growth development etc thank you very much